Police dash cam showing a driver in a very big hurry to escape arrest, losing control. The chase, which began in Warren, ended violently in Detroit. Larry Spruill is live to take us through a series of events police say began with another crime. Larry? Sandra, it all started with the home invasion that eventually led police on this high speed chase right here. And the good news is tonight he is in jail. He's down Dodge. Police clocked this suspect driving this silver Dodge Neon at high speeds Friday morning. This is round one of the chase. You can see him speeding through this neighborhood, running through stop signs. Minutes later, Warren Police Commissioner Bill Dwyer says officers stopped the chase. It appears that the uh, the officers had terminated the chase uh, based on speed, right? Uh, which is always safety a factor, reasons, uh, right. safety reasons. So, uh, good decision by uh, the officer that terminated the chase. Dwyer tells me it all started with the home invasion early Friday morning around seven o'clock when the suspect broke into the home where his children and their mother were staying. Police said he assaulted her and then drove off, leading police on that first chase and then a second one when they spotted him again on Seven Mile and Van Dyke. That's when he took off, speeding and running through stop signs again. Minutes into the second chase, you see him hitting this parked car. He got out and tried to run away. And again, Dwyer says that suspect is in jail tonight. He was out on bond for a previous crime, but he is facing multiple charges tonight. We're live tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Thank you, Larry.